All right, so we're going to take a look at my PlayStation Vita collection. So I've got the uh, PlayStation Vita uh, Slim model. Uh, so it's got the L and R buttons. It's got both analog sticks, uh, front uh, D-pad, front face buttons, the PlayStation button, and the start and select buttons there. Across top, you've got the card slot there. You've got the volume buttons here, power button here. You have the touch screen on the front and the touch pad on the back. You also have a front, uh, where, oh, front facing camera there and a rear facing camera there. Um, overall, uh, it is a really smooth experience. So, I really do love my Vita. Um, it's got Bluetooth support, so it supports like Bluetooth uh, headsets, things like that. It's got Wi-Fi. Um, really, really nice little system. So let's take a look at the games, and uh, then we'll dive into some, into some uh, gameplay. Okay, so I'm going to go in no particular order, but uh, here we've got The Wolf Among Us. Really cool game, and for some reason it's got the Freedom Wars stuff in there. I'm not sure why, but that's what the Vita card looks like. This is a very great, it's a very good, um, I guess you'd call it a, a, a visual novel, I guess. I really don't know what you'd call it. But it's same, by the same guys that did uh, The Walking Dead uh, Telltale Games, I believe. I believe it's who did it. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Telltale Games. And then we've got uh, Ninja Gaiden uh, Sigma Plus 2, I guess you would you'd call it. It's a really great, great game in the Ninja Gaiden series. <clears throat> Excuse me, we've got... Uh, I always have to look at the spine. Uh, La, La Mulan... No, X, I think is how you say it. Yeah, La Mulana X. Uh, no, sorry, EX, excuse me. Um, it was about Rising Star Games. Um, with the characters there. Uh, this is a limited run game. I did buy this a couple years back for at a PRG. It's actually the only limited run game I have. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I've got... Yeah, that's the only one I have left. So, a great game. Next game we've got is Mod Nation Racers Road Trip. This is a great Mario Kart tribute. A nice compliment to the PS3 game. It does suffer from long load times, but it's, it's still a good game. Here I've got Final Fantasy XX2 HD Remaster. So this is Final Fantasy X and X2. You get 10 on the cartridge, and you get 10 to as a digital download. I did buy this new, so I do have them both. Um, Japan got both of them physical. I think maybe the UK did as well. Freedom Wars. This is a great exclusive Vita game. Very awesome uh, third-person game right here. We've got uh, Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus. Again, another great Ninja Gaiden game. So Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus, this is actually Ninja Gaiden Black. That was released on, I believe, the PS3. And then uh, Sigma Plus 2 is Ninja Gaiden 2, I think. Pretty sure. We have a loose printed label copy of Dynasty Warriors Next. Really fun game of the Dynasty Warrior series. Put quite a few hours into that. We have Tearaway. This was a this was a Vita exclusive, and they re-released it a remaster for on the PS4. Uh, this this does a very good job at featuring the 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 what the what the Vita can do. With the front camera and, and stuff. Really great game. 
Uh, yeah, that is that is mold on the back, unfortunately, and because of that, I did get a deal on it, so <laughs> glad I was able to get that. And then we've got uh, Unit 13, again, a loose printed label copy. This was an exclusive to the Vita. It was a launch title, I believe, for the Vita as well. This is a great third-person uh, uh, military shooter. <clears throat> Uncharted Golden Abyss. This game <laughs> made me fall in love with the Uncharted, ser Uncharted series and make me want to get them all. Uh, in fact, I'm only missing one of them now. Um, I've played and beat this game at least twice. This is a exclusive to the Vita. If you got a Vita, um, track down this game. This game's great. We've got uh, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. This is again another printed label. There's a loose copy from GameStop. I think I got it for like 12 bucks. So, great Assassin's Creed game. Hot Shots Golf World Invitational. Great golf game. Lots of fun. There's the cartridge. Little Big Planet Vita. This is actually the UK label printed because <laughs> I couldn't find a US one and it was loose. Uh, great game and Little Big Planet series. Great platformer. And I'm going to actually move these over. I'm going to move these up here. There we go. Okay. Got a, got a, got a bit more here. All right. So we got. World of Final Fantasy. I actually bought this new uh, from GameStop. Um, I was actually really excited when I heard this, this was coming to the uh, to the Vita, a day one edition. I uh, got some great. It's, this game is really great. It's it's Final it's Final Fantasy meets Pokemon. It's about the best way I can describe it. I like Pokemon, I like Final Fantasy, so this is a great a great blend of of the two games. Square Enix did a really good job on this. Um, it has since been released on all major platforms, so you can get it on Xbox One, PS4, and Switch. I just happen to have it on the Vita here. And we've got Metal Gear Solid, the HD collection, on the Vita. Now, what's really cool about this game, or this collection, is it's got both games on one cartridge. And... Metal Gear Solid 3 is actually the, the subsistence version, so it actually has the first two Metal Gear games on it as well. So you get four games um, in one cartridge, which is really cool. Really good. Oh, it also comes... Okay, yeah, see, it says right there. Oh, it also comes with the VR missions, so that's cool. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. So yeah, four games, pretty good. Pretty good on one cart. Wipeout 2048. Again, a printed label. Uh, this is uh, this is a great Wipeout game. Uh, this game's brutally hard, but it's a great racing game to have on the, on the Vita. Uh, here we have the print label. It's a Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Great fighting game on the Vita. Definitely a lot of fun. Happy to have that. Resistance Burning Skies, great first-person shooter. This is actually the first Vita game I've I beat. Actually, it's the first game I platinumed. Excuse me, first Vita game I platinum, beat and platinum. Um, not a, not a hard platinum, but lots of fun to be had here. Great game in the Resistance series. Got uh, one, two, three, four, four, five more here. Dungeon Hunter Alliance on Vita. This is a great uh, Diablo tribute game. It is also available on, I think, iOS and um, Android. Uh, I definitely prefer playing on the Vita. I like the life of having the digital controls. Um, and it's, it's fun to have trophies and stuff. So, great game to have. Okay. And then we've got so we'll last to this last two. We've got Earth Defense Force 2, Invaders from Planet Space. 
Uh, this is a funny, uh, uh, funny third-person shooter where you take down into like huge giant uh, alien bugs. Uh, really fun, <laughs> really fun game in the series. Okay, and three more here. This one here is Ragnarok Odyssey. Now they did release this. They did release this, and they released uh, Ragnarok, Ragnarok Odyssey Ace. Uh, this is obviously just the first one. Uh, this is a really fun, uh, fun RPG. And the last two games I'm going to show you are actually first-person shooters, and these are both very good games. Regardless of how much flack this gets, I really enjoy this game. And that is Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified on the Vita. This is a Vita exclusive game. Um, and also it's included uh, Call of Duty Roads, Roads to Victory. Um, this is a great Call of Duty game. You get a bite-sized Call of Duty experience on the Vita. Um, I think the reason why it's got so much hate is because they were, they were expecting, people were expecting a full console experience Call of Duty, and that's, and they didn't get that. Um, uh, but despite all the hate, I really do enjoy this game. Now, the last game that I have, um, and I think this is a game that everyone that has a Vita that likes first-person shooters should obtain... And this is arguably the best looking game on PlayStation Vita, and that is Killzone Mercenary. Uh, this is a Vita exclusive game. It was done by Gorilla Cambridge, which was a Sony in house studio, which is why it looks so beautiful. So, this is definitely a great game. Um, highly recommended. It's a game I've beaten multiple times. I uh, haven't planned them yet <laughs> because some of the trophies are just really difficult. But, uh, but yeah, really great game. And actually, I don't know if I can plan them anymore because I think some of them require uh, multiplayer. Uh, multiplayer is still going. But uh, great game on the Vita. Definitely worth picking up. If you got a Vita, you like first person shooters, you like Killzone, this game is a game to pick up. Okay, so we've looked at the games. Let's look at the gameplay for all these great games. You can see what they're all about. Okay, the first game we're going to look at is Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus. Maybe a little difficult due to the fact that I'm doing it through a camera, but I'll do my best here. And this is a remake of the first game. Great game. Definitely a hard game, too. But totally worth playing. Looks great on the Vita. There you go. Got him. Ah, oh, dead. Okay. All right, now we're going to take a look at uh, Ninja Gaiden, uh, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 Plus here. It's the next game we'll look at. Okay. 
There we go. This is Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 Plus. Should stop with save. Oh, I guess I don't have to save a game out here. That's too bad. Alright, we'll do just normal. So we're starting fresh. Can I skip? Can I skip that? Oh, yes, I can. More of the same great gameplay. It's found in the Get In series. Again, definitely a not an easy game, but uh, definitely a lot of fun. Whoa. There we go. Whoa, jeez. One thing there's a bit of a of a nuisance is the camera angles. Oh, that was kinda cool. Oh, uh, well, that, that's helpful, the resetting the camera angle. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just start another game here. Okay, here we've got Tearaway. And I should have a save game of this on here. I may not, but I should have one. This makes great use of the Vita features. Okay. Apparently, <laughs> uh, I don't have a save file in here like I thought I did. That's too bad. This is a little funny. That's okay. Uh, let's do big hands. Why not? Sure. Uh, let's do that one. And mail. <laughs> like I said, he uses the Vita features. A lot. And you can't skip it either. Oh, you can. Okay. I like how he uses the AR. Okay. 
I'm trying to escape if it won't let me. Yep, I'm sure. Oh, trying to shake you on a hello. <laughs> <laughs> there I am. <laughs> I really like how it how it blends the game world with the real world. It's kind of cool. And then you just use your <laughs> use your finger to poke your poke your way through. It's kind of silly. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Moving <laughs> on. Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, Wipeout 2048. There's you the controls. The, the, the music in this is great. The graphics are pretty cool, too. I like how the triangles fill in to show you the loading progress. Kind of nice. It does take a while to load, unfortunately, but it's okay. <laughs> Okay. That's, oh. Okay, it is the power button. You can use the D-pad or the analog stick. I'm not doing very well, but it's okay. Still a great game. Arguably one of the best racers on the Vita. I'd say next to Mod Nation Racers. Definitely, <laughs> definitely not an easy game. Whoa. Sliding over the place here. Sixth position. Fourth. Oh, it was not meaning to go that way. I get. I mean, and the camera may not. You may not get 
all that well from the camera, but uh, it does give you a really good sense of speed. You really feel like you're going pretty fast flying down this track. Okay, let's take a look at the next game here. Okay, here we've got Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. So it's got Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. We'll do 2 first. I'm not going to show a whole lot of this because if you've played this on any other console, you've played it on the Vita essentially. It's kind of cool to have it portably. Or portable rather, and not it be area wide, and it and it be the yeah. For I'm sorry for it to be portable. <laughs> I was thinking PS One, but I'm like no, these aren't on the PS One. I should have. Of course, I don't have it. Let me just do. Let's do the tanker plant. Why not? Normal. Uh, type two. And some of these games, especially this game right here, it's the camera isn't gonna do the game justice at all. The game looks great on the Vita. Oh, is this about the, uh, actually there might be a mic, it's actually on the phone screen, it might. But yeah, this is, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, being played on the PlayStation Vita. And there you go, and the ship. Again, the game plays very well on the Vita. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually save it. Save, yep. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the third game.
So we're going to have to do... Maybe you have to start the game over again, I think, maybe? I'm going to see what happens, though. When I die, I'm going to quit the game and see if I can go into the third one. Come on, just kill me already. Let's go. Game over. I'm gonna exit. And this should let me go back to the title screen to choose the other game, but let's find out. Yeah, here we go. Back to game select. Here we go. And let's take us to the third game. Okay, and this one, because you get the subsistence version, you can pick to play the third game, or you can play Metal Gear, Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. We don't have any data on the card, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and take a look at Metal Gear. This is on the... Uh, this is the original MSX version of the game here. It's kind of cool, actually, to be able to play this game. Okay, so there's a suck button on this one too. That was cool. Is this game you can, um. There we go, now you can see it better. It's kind of cool. In this game, you can go ahead and just say data save, and it'll save. There you go, quick game. And end game. And this should take you back to the title screen for the third game. Yep. Okay, and then we're going to take a look at Metal Gear 2 real quick here. It's kind of cool. You get four games for the price of one. It's pretty neat, actually.
This place similar to the first one. Ugh. save it here I guess and we'll take a look at the third one and I like how all four of them have different save files oh never mind I guess it I, I thought it did never mind it's just the original goes by both of them okay where both the games go by the original and this should get us back to the third game here just like you did before. And I don't have. I have to focus. Come on. That's right. Let's do. Huh, okay. I'm assuming that Wow. Interesting. So apparently it has different control schemes, I'm assuming, based on the game. Huh. Okay. Right. I'll go ahead and just do MGS3, though, because it's the game we're playing. Again, looking at the camera, looking through the the phone's camera is not it just does not give the game justice at all. It's, just, it's a great looking game on the Vita. And we're gonna skip all this stuff here and go straight to the game. So I'm making the third game, the second game, in the third game you have to actually um, survive. It's kind of cool. And blending with the surroundings and stuff. It's actually a really, a really good game. They also released this on the uh, 3DS, believe it or not. But I prefer it on the Vita. Alright, that's kind of enough of, of these games here. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, we're going to take a look at Dungeon Hunter Alliance. These other games in the box here. Oh, so how's my save game on here? <laughs> so this is a uh, this is a game similar like Diablo, I guess. This would be the closest thing Diablo to Diablo you're gonna get on the Vita. 
outside of the PS1 Classic version of Diablo, if you wanted to grab that. But definitely a fun game. I'm not sure why all those trophies are popping. They had those previously. But yeah, you go through dungeons, killing enemies, and getting loot. And I might just end up dying here because there we go. There we go. Got him. I forgot what the button is to Oh that's right. R is the button to grab the stuff. So yeah, great little dungeon crawler. Definitely worth checking out if you want to play a Diablo clone or tribute. I'm gonna say, oh, yeah, I'm gonna say tribute game on the Vita. Definitely worth checking out. Lots of fun. And the inventory is full. Okay, I'm going to save and quit. So that's a look at Dungeon Hunter Alliance on the Vita. And let's keep moving on. Okay, so this is going to be uh, this is World of Final Fantasy. Uh, again, this was released on the Switch, Xbox One, and PS4 as a, I believe, an HD remaster. I actually wouldn't mind getting this on the Switch, honestly speaking. Oh, wonderful. And the save data. Cool. Um, no. I don't want cross save. So yeah, it does support cross save between the PS4 and the Vita versions. I don't know that it does for the other versions of the game, however. Um, the day one edition does come with uh, some DLC. You can also download the English language pack, so all the cutscenes are voiced in English, which is really cool. It's not going to be here because I don't think I have the English patch um, downloaded for this, or the English voices rather downloaded for this. Kind of bites that my uh, save file didn't didn't come over or didn't wasn't on the system we'll skip the cuts again yep again this game very much um is a is a mixture of uh final fantasy meets pokemon in the sense that it's it's the Final Fantasy universe, but you go around capturing monsters, or yeah, you capture monsters and level them up. So that's the monster I have right now. And I'll go so far as to North Promenade. Where am I going? I don't remember if I'm going the right way or not. <laughs> oh, open your map. That may be a good thing. To, a good thing to do, right? Okay, so what's the way to go? Oh, 
I like the loading screens aren't that long. And as I show you how to battle. And I think I'll end the, the look at the game here once this is done here. But you see how it totally reminds me of Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, you level up your, your little monsters and you, uh, you make them learn moves and stuff. So I'm going to do an attack here. But you can stack the monsters on top of each other. You can do, I think, three or four monsters high. And the monsters, um, combine, uh, combining attack power, hit points, and defense, which is really kind of, kind of handy. But you up against all the, you know, all the, the summons and everything else like that, like Shiva and Ifrit and stuff. It's actually really cool. Really cool game. And you meet other Final Fantasy characters like um, uh, Titus, Titus, everyone, whatever, however you say his name. So, all right, moving on. Okay, we're gonna look at uh, Earth Defense Force Two: Invaders from the Planet Space. This is a third-person shooter that totally does not take itself seriously. It's got an amazing soundtrack. So here you are taking on giant ants. <clears throat> giant alien ants. And then you can actually um, come here and grab this tank if I wanted. Oh, crap. I don't figure out how to. Oops. That was the wrong button. Oh, that's right. There's only certain characters that can use those. And that's not one of them. But yeah, that's uh, Defense Force 2. <laughs> and you can choose different. Um, uh, different uh, like commando guys to use. These are the ones that can fly. These are the ones that can use the the um, tanks and such. Now what's really cool is you can actually blow up these buildings. You can kind of see it there. It's kind of cool. You can totally destroy the buildings. Which is kind of cool. I like that. But yeah, it's got to knock down all these bugs. Defending London. <laughs> it just gets kind of crazy. All right, moving on. All right, we're taking a look here at Ragnarok Odyssey. Thankfully, my save game is still here. And there, those trophies go popping. I think it's because I changed the memory card. I sincerely think that's why. Hello. 
Oops, what do I do? Actually, yes, I do. Give me a quest. Let's just do bear hunting, why not? Let's just show you guys how the game plays. But yeah, this is your traditional um, third person uh, action RPG. I play in the same vein as uh, Fantasy Star Online, I guess would be the best way to look at it. Game plays great too. And I'm poisoned, that's awesome. It's okay. Alright. <laughs> that was just to show you how the game plays. It's really kind of cool. I enjoy it. Okay, we're going to move right along. Okay, we've got Uncharted Golden Abyss. Again, this is a Vita exclusive game. One of my favorites. I'm interesting to see if my save file is here. Hope it is. Oh, no, it's not. Well, that sucks. That's okay. But give me a reason to go back through it again. Again, this is one of those instances where the, the phone camera really does not do it justice here. This game is just so cool looking. I mean, it's uncharted on the go. It's <laughs> it's a really, really awesome game. And it does shoehorn in a lot of the Vita features. So if I wanted to, I could use like the, the touch screen to tell them where to go if I wanted. But I am of the belief that if you can avoid using touch screen controls, that I'm going to do that. But yeah, it's uncharted. <laughs> the Vita, it's just so awesome. Can I show you to use touch controls? But again, I do not like using them, so I don't. Sometimes you have to do that. Okay. 
Okay. All right, moving on here. Okay, here we've got the Dice Wars next here. So, anybody that hasn't played Dynasty Warriors, this is pretty much uh, Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> really, for anybody that's played that, it's pretty much the same thing. But it looks pretty good on the Vita, honestly speaking. Kind of cool to just hack up a bunch of, bunch of enemies on screen. This is great too. All right, I almost done it to where's next. We're going to move on here. Okay, we've got Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Uh, no. Okay, we just do arcade. Arcade mode. Okay, and then. So there's characters you have to be up you can choose from. There's quite a few characters to choose from here, as you can see. Let's go ahead and go with uh, Ryu. And on the other side, let's go with uh, let's go with Pac-Man. Why not? Focus there. It's actually a pretty good fighting game. This this game is actually a lot better in my opinion than the Mortal Kombat game. I'm probably gonna get my butt handed to me though, because I put a medium difficulty like a like a Clung for punishment person I am. <laughs> I'm not very good at the game, but it's, it's a lot of fun. There we go. It's a Pac Man. I like how the characters fight like their like their game counterparts, like the Street Fighter guys fight like they're from Street Fighter and 
Tekken uh, characters fight like they're from Tekken, which is really nice. All right, let's look at uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken and move on to the next game. Okay, here we've got La Mulana uh, EX or X. This is a limited run games release. Let's see if my save files on here. Uh, looks like it is not. But that's okay. So this plays uh, similar to games that I played before. Um, that I one well one figure that I played that I review on this channel, which is. Um, uh, Sydney Hunter. Uh, this gameplay is very similar to that. And it's a, I guess you I guess you call it a Metroidvania platformer. I guess would be the best way to describe it. And for some reason, I can't figure out why I can't go through there. Oh, because I have to go up here first. Go in here. Hit that bird. hard to play <laughs> through the camera but it's got some great graphics music's great too I'm glad I had this in my collection I hate that part all right let's go ahead and move on to the next game here all right here we got the wolf among us It does take a bit to load on the beat, unfortunately, and it does stutter in parts. So you play as the sheriff, and you're uh, investigating a series of murders.
does play pretty well for being on the Vita, even given its sluggishness at times. I think it plays like an interactive cartoon. Story is really good. And then here's where you choose what to do. You can do like enough excuses. So, so yeah, it's a choose your own adventure game. It's pretty cool. And we're gonna move on now. Okay, here we've got uh, Final Fantasy X. And open the save files here. Hard to find out. Oh, well, that's lame. Guess we're doing a new game then. So that case, I'm not going to get too far into the game. I'll show you what it looks like here. You just can't skip any of the FMV sequences. It's about a great, a great way to experience Final Fantasy X. I do have ten two as well, but I don't have it downloaded. No, it's not that. We're going to move on here. Here we've got My Nation Racers Road Trip. So we got the race station, the shop station, uh, cart studio. So you can uh, create your own cart. You can modify your racer. And you can make your own track. And you can publish them online. And we're going to just do a quick race. Uh, no. I think this game delivers very nicely on the Vita. Um, it's a nice compliment to the PS3 counterpart. It does take forever to load, unfortunately.
But yeah, it plays pretty much just like you like just like with Mario Kart or any other type of racer. Now I got a cow on the time. No, it's not a bad racer. We're gonna go ahead and move on here. Okay, so here we've got Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation on Vita. Can't skip this, unfortunately. This is a great um, game on the Vita. Before this, you know, I would play this Assassin's Creed the Go. Was either the well, was the the PSP versions, which which are okay, but this game looks much much better than those. Well, nowadays you've got games like Black Flag and and stuff, but same plays pretty well on the Vita. For how to run? Oh, I was holding R and it wasn't going. Catch the chicken. I feel I'm not gonna be able to catch this stupid chicken. <laughs> Sneak into the house. But again, plays pretty well. If 
I just can't climb with beans, though. <laughs> it's not a dressing. Uh, okay. Oh, it's over this way. I played this game in a while. <laughs> but it's a really great game. Alright, enough of this. We're gonna go ahead and move on. Here we've got uh, Hot Shots Golf World Invitational. I'm not much for sports games, but the Hot Shots Golf game has been pretty good on really every console I've. Every, every console and system I had it on. And this game's definitely no, no, uh, no slouch here when it comes to a great golf game. A single player. Fortunately, of course, it will have my stinking save file, but that's okay. But it's your standard golf game. You pick who you want to be. Pick your club. Pick your ball. Pick what shot type you want. And then go course. This game loads up fairly quickly compared to others, but then again, this is also a sports game. Okay. So you, know, you get the pretty much traditional golf game there. Let's see if I can. Lost the game. Oops. That's all. I want to switch my golf club. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and just... Oh, I hit it too, too late. Uh, I hit you hard that time. <laughs> the putt always, always got me. Those lines indicate the the amount of slope, and I can never get this right. Usually, oh, oh, cool. There we go. Got a birdie. Awesome. Oh, the next hole. So yeah, pretty pretty decent golf game. Definitely uh, worth picking up if you guys like golf. And want a game that's pretty decent on the Vita. This is definitely worth checking out. Oh, that was lame. All right, that <laughs> was Hot Shots Golf. Moving on. Okay, here we've got Little Big Planet. I'd start a new game because I don't have a save game on my Vita anymore. If you let me, come on. <laughs> there you go. To the first level.
There we go. Okay. This is the first level. This is a little big planet. This is a. I would go so far as to say it's a puzzle platformer. You have to solve puzzles and it's a platformer at its core. But you got these items that can be used to um, either change your Sack Boy's outfit um, or to apply it into the, uh, into the world or into the level to help solve puzzles. Uh, also to decorate your pod area and also used to create custom levels as well. You can create custom levels which is kind of cool. Definitely a great game to add to your to your Vita collection for sure. I'm just telling you how to pop. I forgot how to do it. There we go, okay. That's how you do it. And let's take the stickers and use certain stickers for... Stickers, and then you can make it bigger. And then you can do this one. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, we need to do that. <laughs> we got it down, that's all that matters. Let's see here about bounce pads. Get a phone. When you don't miss. <laughs> Yeah, he did it. Man, keep going. I like how it teaches you about something and then it implements it really quickly after that. It doesn't, it doesn't leave you hanging, which I really like about this game. I think actually you can, you can say that about really all of the little big planet games. They kind of, they tend to do that. They'll introduce a mechanic, and they'll kind of show it to you first and say, "Hey, here's here's how it goes," just so you're not kind of left to your own devices. And this teaches you about using platforms and dragging them. So you just put that over there. And we should jump up there, and there we go. Oh, 
I'm gonna be able to get that, darn it. Wait, can I? I can. <laughs> I'll just do that. And I should be able to go ahead and grab this. There we go. Cool, got it. Alright, so we're gonna put that down. That down. Okay, that down. Come on, there we go. Sometimes it's not all that intuitive. But still good game. Alright, so that's enough for Little Big Planet. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next game. Okay, so this game here, this is Freedom Wars, and it's a real shame that this game did not end up on any other consoles or get a sequel or anything, because this game is amazing. So in this game, you play as uh, this guy here, or you can play as a girl, I believe, too, um, and you're serving a, a prison sentence, and you get a prison sentence of like 100,000 years, and you have to bring your sentence down by doing missions and rescuing uh, citizens and things like that. Uh, as you can see, I'm not very far into the game. I'm like down 9, 990,245 years, which is probably about maybe 10 to 20 hours in the game. So, I mean, it's a pretty long game. But this is running around the, the prison. And then you've got... Right, so I have to go that way, I guess. Harvest that. But yeah, if you, if you answer questions wrong, um, or you're in a... <laughs> or you, like, cross people, you'll end up getting getting time added to your sentence. So you gotta really be careful. <laughs> Why can I not go that way? Oh. No. Oh. Well, I'm on level one. There we go. Okay. But yeah, you go on missions and, and you help rescue citizens and you do missions for people that help reduce your sentence. Then you eventually leave. You eventually get out. Um, here's your view. Um, here's your list of things you can do. Basic operations. I've already done all these, but I can, I can do it again, just to show you how the game plays. Okay, so here's your objective. Locate three assistants, deliver to, res deliver to resource reclamation units. So it's, uh, it's a third person shooter I guess you can call it and it's course it's like third person RPG third person shooter slash RPG or third person shooter with RPG elements whatever you wanna wanna um wanna call it and you have an Android that helps you tells you things and, and stuff. So we gotta get the citizens to those units and then it ends. There we go. I totally forgot the buttons. <laughs> Haven't played this game in a while. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm going to just go right for it. Mm 
I'm gonna go grab that guy right there. I guess actually it's a woman. We're gonna carry them to the reclamation unit, which is all the way over. Whoa! Ah, uh, I dropped. I dropped one. Come on, pick her up. Let's go. And you only like run in one direction. You can't actually change directions, which is really kind of irritating. But it's still, it's still a really fun game. All right, so we go this way with her, I think. E yes, right there. Okay. Uh oh, and reinforcements inbound. Ah, oh, I dropped them again. Come on. Oh, let's go. Pick them up. Let's go. Oh, really? Uh, well, that's annoying. And then, there we go. Deposited. Now I got a couple more. I also have this, uh, this grapple, which is kind of cool. You can use your new. Grab on certain things and shoot from which is kinda kinda handy. Be able to do. Alright, so a little bit of, a little bit of, of uh, Freedom Wars great game, exclusive game to the PlayStation Vita. Definitely worth checking out. And we're gonna move on to the next few games we've got. Here we've got Unit 13. This is a third person tactical shooter. Um <laughs> that um, is exclu exclusive to the PlayStation Vita. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do Mission 2. Accept it. Before I don't, but I'm going to do it again. Okay, and I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use the point man. It gives you, like, you see there are some operatives to choose from, and you can choose which one you want to, want to utilize for each mission, which is kind of neat. So, obtain the distribution list. That's what we got to do. Okay. Well, that's why I take care of it. I hate how this game. Oh, I forgot about that. This is one of those stealth missions. That's fine. But I hate how some of the games shoehorn in. Um, Uh, touch controls, kind of annoying. I think all of the, uh, I think a lot of the launch titles, this being one of them, did that. Uh, let's go to fourth mission. Sure, we'll do this one. Who's recommended for one for this one? This isn't one that's a stealth mission, so it shouldn't be as, <laughs> as cumbersome to do through a camera. But it's definitely a great, uh, great game to have on the Vita. Another great exclusive game. Stay 
Whoa, where's it coming from? Right there. There we go. Oh. Ah, oh, they got me. Oh, man, I thought I got him. All right, that's a little bit of uh, Unit 13. We're going to go ahead and uh, move on. Okay, this is Resistance Burning Skies. The PlayStation Vita exclusive. It's the first game I beat on the Vita and the first one I actually platinumed. Great first person shooter. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't like the fact that these games shoehorn these touchscreen controls in. The ones that force you to use it are just kind of annoying. So a game is just annoying. I had a bolt tag, which I don't ever hardly use because I don't like using it. Where is he? There he is. In order to run, you uh, double tap the back touch the back touch pad. There we go. <sighs> Hate that. Alright, it's enough of this. <laughs> We're going to move on to some better first person shooters here. Okay, I know I said better first with shooters, but I, I do mean it. This game 
Call of Duty Black Ops Classified is a great first person shooter despite all the hate it gets. Focus better with the other camera. Nope, that's not any better. <laughs> this is a great Call of Duty experience. I'm going to wait until, uh, the game starts before I actually try to focus the camera. There we go. Great Call of Duty game. It's everything you'd want in a Call of Duty game on the go, really. Can't figure where that's coming from. Oh, right there. There we go. This also does support online multiplayer, which is kind of cool. And yes, people still do play it. <laughs> the uh, Nicktown Town map's pretty good. Oh, I need to go get the, the package. Sorry about that. I know this game does not shoehorn in the touch controls. I had grenades, but I guess I don't have any. I guess I could turn that vision off. <laughs> Alright, so that's a little bit of Call of Duty Black Ops Classified. Great first person shooter. We're going to move on to the final game in my collection. Definitely save the best game for last here. This is Killzone Mercenary. Arguably the best <laughs> looking video game um, ever to come to the Vita. At least for first person shooters, I definitely would, would agree with that assessment. Uh, 
This is a game I have reviewed before on the channel. Believe it or not. And the, the video, I have to, I'll tell you right now, does not do anything for the game. This game is beautiful. And the only touch controls you really need um, are the button here to activate your um, I don't know what you'd call it really your I don't want to say ability because it depends on just one which you have equipped and the uh, the melee swiping. Is really all you need the touch controls for. Otherwise, everything else is done with the controller. Uh, I could have gone ahead and uh, played the game with the uh, PS uh, PS4 DualShock 4 controller, um, or even the PS3 controller, uh, and kind of had this sitting on its on its case, but. I decided not to. Am I firing on my own guy? I think I might be. Okay. I've probably shown this mission in the previous video as well, but this is a really good mission. <laughs> that is the start of the game. I don't need to do the armory. I don't need to do that. Actually, I might. Well, yeah, I'll get actually some stuff here. Let's the armory. Get some stuff. Primary weapon. Um, I'm going to re-equip. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is another place where you need to touch controls. I forgot. <laughs> So not I mean not not very many, which is good. I mean not many areas require the touch controls, which is good. And that's all I'm gonna do actually when I exit. But you play as a mercenary, and you eventually play for both sides. Oh, that's all I'm gonna do. Dang it. For some reason, I thought it was ammo on the ground that was trying to get me to grab, but nope. There, kill the dropship. <laughs> That was actually kind of fun. Oh, here I got him. Never mind. Okay, here we go. I know there's ammo I could have grabbed, but meh. Sin Max and this game are just beautiful. Very pretty to look at.
All right, I'm going to... So this will end the look here of the game. Um, and that's been the collection of the games I've got on the Vita. All right, so that was a look at my PlayStation Vita collection. Quite a few games there. Um, uh, that's that's probably one of the game, one of the systems I, or one of the handhelds I have the most games for. Uh, lots of love for the Vita. So, um, hope you enjoyed what you saw. Um, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. As always, till next time, take care and happy gaming.